What's going on, y'all? And it's your boy on Drizzy back at it again with another video. And welcome back to Madden 11 New Orleans Saints franchise. Before I get to our game, I wanted to show the standings and the stats and all that first. And but if you guys don't care, y'all can just skip this five minutes ahead to that, that. That's where the game starts. So, um, yeah, but anyway, those of you that care, here is where we stand in the NFC. We're the number one seed. The Cowboys are the two seed. The Seahawks are the three seed. The Vikings are the four seed. The Bears, the five. Redskins, six. Cardinals, seven. Um, Redskins barely made the playoffs. Uh, if it wasn't for the Cardinals, I guess, losing the game or winning the game. I don't know. I think they had to win. And then the Cardinals, uh, I don't know. They might have beaten the Cardinals during the season. But I don't know. I didn't pay attention to their schedule. But you see the Vikings are number four in the NFC. And... Yeah, so Cowboys, you know, second, like I said. Um, now you wanna now we look in the AFC. The Steelers are the number one seed, and the Patriots number two seed, Broncos are the three seed, Texans are the four seed, Ravens are the five seed, and the Colts are the six seed in the playoffs. Colts barely made it too. Um, I think they needed the Chiefs to lose. I don't know, because we didn't show it, but uh yeah, I mean, did we show it? Did we? Uh, I don't know. Nope, we didn't show it because it didn't matter. So now we're going to the season stats. We're going to look at Jonathan Velma on the Saints. Uh, he has the most tackles on defense, you know, since he plays linebacker. And um, you see Jenkins is right behind him and Sharper is behind him or is behind Jenkins also. Colston got 60 catches for 1,200 yards. And yeah, so now we're going to look at all combined, the whole NFL combined, I think. That's, how, that, that's what I was trying to go to. Trying to work my way around this whole thing. But there we go. NFL. So Dwayne Bow got the most receptions and the most yards in the NFL. Uh, Hans Ward is right behind him. And Miles Austin is behind um, Hans Ward. I see Deshaun Jackson. 81 catches. Stuff like that. Uh, I'm going really fast because I just wanted to show you all this. It really didn't matter. But hey. Anyway. Um, old Steve Smith, Michael Crabtree, Kevin Boss, uh, who else? It's a lot of these guys out here that's that's had great seasons. Um, Colston, he he shouldn't have been all the way down there. I mean, he's only behind by a catch. I bet you if he make about three more catches, we gonna be up there in that top ten. But it don't matter. But they disrespect him. But you see, Adrian Peterson has the most yards rushing and the most touchdowns in the league, the most run attempts and all that. But we looking at quarterbacks though. Breeze got a 118.4 pass rating, 4,000 yards, 38 touchdown passes is what it looks like. Yep, 38 and 15 picks. Not bad. We out here balling. So yeah, um, now we're going to look at the depth chart. I had to fix it because that was what I had when we were playing the Buccaneers because I didn't want any of my starters to get hurt. We wanted them to be fully healthy. We're getting Tracy Porter back, but Bush is out for the rest of the season. I think he might come back for the Super Bowl. I think. I don't know. But uh, anyway, but regardless, as far as I know, he's out for the rest of the season. So we got to work with Linnell Hamilton and uh, Pierre Thomas. Pierre Thomas is a beast. Linnell Hamilton has been coming along. We've been developing him pretty well. We're getting Tracy Porter back on that uh, cornerback position. So that's going to help us a ton against Minnesota. And we play them. That's who we play, y'all. That's that's who we play. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. So now, um, yeah, he uh, herniated disc. That's gonna be six weeks, and that means he's out. So there's no coming back. There's no coming back from that. So anyway, I don't know why my phone moved like that, but there we go. So see us fourteen and two. We don't have to play the wild card this week. So welcome to the Superdome. Here today, we've got to take on take on the Minnesota Vikings. Hopefully, we can get by them and go on to the NFC Championship and host. So, man, I know everybody be like, Vikings fan be like, we could have won last year. We, if only Favre just took a knee or ran the ball one more time, we could have just kicked the field goal and won the game. But okay, that was last year. Get over it. He didn't. He made the stupid decision, throwing it across his body. But this is when it matters most. I know we played them in the beginning of the season, but this right here is when it matters the most is in the playoffs. And we're going to find out who the better team is here today, which obviously I know it's us. 
I know it's us, but hopefully we don't let nothing stupid happen. Stop the turnovers, stop the picks, stop the fumbling, stop allowing 100 yards rushing on us every single game we play. I mean, I know we're playing up against the number one rusher in the league, Adrian Peterson. You know, he always gonna do his thing, but if we can hold him to at least 70 yards, we will be good. We will be all right, and we can capitalize off turnovers that they cause. Because I know he has fumbling problems, and Percy Harvin has fumbling problems. So here we go. Morstead now. Okay, or not Morstead. Or is it Morstead? I think, yeah, yeah, it's Morstead. Anyway, I forgot for a second. So Percy Harvin takes it past the 15, past the 20, shakes the defender off, and gets to the 25-yard line. And now he's going to be first down and 10. Favre comes out and play action, dumps it underneath the Shanko. So second down and seven, drops back out of the single back formation, fires underneath to Tahi and he's gonna gain three yards after the catch so on third down and four Far turns around and gives it to Peterson he shakes off a defender he's gonna break off sharper and Peterson is gonna go all the way to the five touchdown Minnesota and they strike first and AP broke off again and I just said if we can contain him we will win this game so here comes Pierre Thomas here is his first carry of the game as a first down and more first down and 10 breeze at the 38 this is a screen Pierre Thomas picks his way through the blocks he's got a first down and we're in Minnesota territory first down Nola here is breeze play action immediately dumps it to the flat Pierre Thomas got a first down and gets out of bounds second or first down and 10 breeze finds Colston in the corner and he's got a first down so now inside the 15 we are Bree trying to fire to Shockey and stride but it gets batted down nearly picked so Breeze fires to the end zone but Henderson stopped running his route so on third down now Breeze looks trying to find Shockey again but that's batted down so the kick by Hartley is up and good and we're still down by four at least we get points on this drive. So here is Favre out of the single back formation. Passes batted down. So a second out in 10. Favre drops back to lay handoff. Peterson spins off a tackle. Gets a block by Harvin. Or is that Rice? And Peterson is going to take another one back to the end zone. To the 10 to the 5. Touchdown, Minnesota. And they will strike again. Another run by AP. And he is already 100 yards for the day so now it is way too early for this but here we go my boy Courtney Roby is known for returning punts and when will kickers learn their lesson so Roby takes it past the 20 spins and he's gonna get a block and he's gonna go all the way to the 40 to the 30 to the 20 to the 20 to the 15 to the 10 to the 5 touchdown New Orleans Saints I'm getting my commentary messed up because it's just exciting but we respond and now we're down by four so here is Favre handoff to Rice and Rice fumbles it I told y'all earlier Rice had fumbling problems and that's one there the first one by them so second down and 12 toss to Peterson he is going to get five yards back so it's third down and manageable far out of the single back formation looks he throws and it's intercepted by JV it is Velma he's gonna take this one back to the end zone touchdown and we take the lead and that is all without scoring any touchdowns on offense so now with 21 seconds left in the half peterson is going to lose the ball after a gain of five but the vikings luckily recover it back but now peterson gets an easy first down for three yards now Favre again handoff or fake to Gerhardt and Klein Saucer is gonna make the catch he's gonna pass the 45 and goes down short of the 50 now it is Favre again fires underneath caught by Tahi but Tahi is gonna lose one so on second down and 11 they go up the middle with Peterson and Peterson is going to be just inches short I'm going to tell y'all that now and you see the ref but anyway Rush measured it and they got it and Rush measured it 30 inches, but that is not good. We need Porter back. We just got him back this week. So Peterson gets the handoff and Peterson's gonna get a first down. So fake or they're gonna give it to Barryan and Barryan is gonna shake off and he's gonna get five yards. So now on second down and five. Far drops back, looks, fires, caught by Sidney Rice, and he's got a first down to the 24. The fake to Barryan. He's gonna throw it to Rice. Shakes off Harper and he's in for the touch down and the Vikings retake the lead once again and now 
we're back down all over again so here is breeze hand off to pierre thomas he's going to shake a defender and get a first down past the 35 yard line so at the 38 first down and 10 breeze running backwards and he goes down for the sack and a loss of 10 so second down and 20 breeze out of the shotgun rolls to the left he's gonna throw he finds colston he's got a first down past midfield and they're into minnesota territory so at the two minute warning breeze looks underneath finds meacham he's gonna spin gets a first down to the 30 and inside the 30 he goes to the 28 yard line so Breeze hand off to Pierre Thomas. Good blocking, and he's going to get a great gain, actually, even though it's six yards. So the handoff to Linnell Hamilton, and Hamilton is going to get a yard. So on third down and two, Hamilton goes down for a loss of two, and Hartley is going to kick this one up, and that is good. And we're still down by one, but I'll take that over being down two touchdowns like we were to begin the game. So here is Favre and the Vikings coming back out on the field under pressure he is and that pass just falls to the ground safely luckily for them so now it is far firing over the middle he wanted burying but that is incomplete robinson on the coverage so the handoff to peterson and peterson is gonna get a nice game they should have kept going with him but i ain't giving them no tips i don't want them to run with ap so now breeze fires to the left side caught by Moore. tried to spin but with 12 seconds 11 seconds 10 seconds left he's gonna go down and we call timeout breeze again looks finds meacham he's gonna have a first down and gets out of bounds so now with four seconds left a 39 yard field goal is up and good hartley nailing another one and we go into the half with the lead and we're up by two i don't like these rushing yards now man the vikings already got 194 they've been running the ball well on us i've caught it in the first in the beginning of the game i said look if we just stop ap we will be all right but look at us we were down two touchdowns but we came back at least we went into halftime but look there's still two more quarters to play but we're gonna get the ball back and hopefully we can control the game from this point so here is roby past the 20 he's gonna spin and get to the 25 yard line before he goes down so they're gonna start a handoff to pierre thomas as he stumbles for a first down so now breeze again another handoff to pierre thomas this time it's gonna be a short game so second down and seven breeze underneath colston caught first down and he goes out of bounds after getting into the vikings 40 yard line now they're gonna hand off up the middle with pierre thomas and that's a gain of nine breeze drops back second down and one that pass was batted in the air and fall to the ground so on third down and one breeze throwing to thomas on the texas route he spins and he's gonna get out of bounds after getting to the 11 short of the 10 now the handoff to thomas runs around the blocks he's going to fall his way for a first down so we got first and goal now breeze handoff to thomas on first down he goes down so now at the one again we're gonna hand off to pierre thomas and this time he loses two so third down and goal play action breeze rolling right caught by evans and he is going to be stopped short of the end zone so hartley's kick for the third time is up and good and we are right, for the fourth time really so yeah hartley's been doing good with his field goals and we need that but we want touchdowns as peterson just marches right down the middle for a first down now they're already into our territory as peterson gets another carry and peterson is going to be stopped after a gain of three far again looks throws caught by barry in on second down and he's got a first down to the 35 yard line so now on first down hand off to peterson and he's gonna have a first down 42 seconds left in the third hand off to ap and ap is going to be stopped after a gain of one third down and five now here is Favre. he finds owens to still doing it and he is inside the, the 15 yard line to the 10 now the hand fake the hand off the flip to peterson and peterson is gonna gain five or six yards so now on second down and goal hand off to tahi and tahi's gonna be short by two yards far on third down and goal looks to his right throws caught touchdown burying and now they're gonna go for two and it's far scans the field fires pass was nearly picked by porter so now we're back down again and now hopefully we, we gotta run this clock at least try to get a field goal and here we go so breeze 
Drops back after the first down run by Pierre Thomas. He shakes a defender, gets a block by, by Henderson, and he gets out of bounds inside the Vikings territory to the 48. Breeze is 200 passing yards for the day now, and it's Thomas gets the handoff, and that's going to be a gain of eight. Breeze, again, another handoff to Thomas. He gets a first down, and he's going to have it at the 38-yard line. Again, same formation, same run play. Hamilton is going to get another positive gain, and both of our running backs are coming through for us here today so breeze under pressure on second until he finds meacham and he spins and he's going to be tackled short of the 20 so on first down and 10 breeze in a shotgun looks throws he wanted meacham but he throws a pick and griffin is going to take it the other way and he's past the 30 and henderson takes him down after crossing the 40 to the 41 yard line and they will have a chance to get out of here with the win so far hand off to peterson he is going to be stopped so all they need to do is get a first down and they're gonna stay on the ground with peterson and he's gonna go down after a gain of four so now on third down and three they're gonna run with tiny he's got a first down and they are on the steering wheel so now we take a timeout with one remaining the fans gave up on us they leaving already so now it's first down and 10. Clowns also in motion. They stay on the ground with Peterson. And he fumbled. He fumbled. He fumbled the ball. But guys, watch what happens when I look at the replay. Minnesota recovered it. And y'all finna see it in a second. That's what made me mad on that play. We recovered it right there, clearly. Before the pal, before the pal expanded, we had it, but somehow Minnesota recovered it. That's one glitch in the game, and I know you current Madden players can be like, oh yeah, y'all say the new games did that, but look at the old games. Anyway, moving on. So on second down and nine, they stay on the ground with Peterson, and Peterson is stopped, and he fumbled again, and he fumbled once again and the pow is large now and refs are pulling people out of the way but minnesota stays with the ball so on third down and four we've got to stop peterson and we do and we force them to punt so now with a 10 second differential with a 10 second differential it's gonna take the snap and tiny keeps it they fake it and he stops short and now we have a chance so we got to throw a prayer to win this game now here is Breeze in the Saints on offense. Breeze in the shotgun with eight seconds left. He takes the snap, drops back, looks, steps up, throws this one deep downfield. He wants more, he's got him. And he's gonna take it in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Nola, a miracle, a miracle when the Superdome has happened and the Saints are looking to move on to host whoever is the winner of the, of the Cowboys game. And now, you Vikings fans, what y'all got to say? What y'all got to say? What do y'all got to say? What do y'all got to say now? Y'all have no excuse. No more. No more. A miracle before the miracle happened. We changed history. And this kick goes out of bounds, though. So the Vikings still have one more chance. So I got to calm down. Now, Favre is going to drop back out of the shotgun. He's under pressure. He had to throw a prayer, but he doesn't get it away. And it is over with. And we moving on to the championship. And go home, Minnesota. Go home. You and your fan base. Leave. 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 It's who that? Who that? Who that said they're going to beat those Saints? Not Minnesota. Not Minnesota. Not Minnesota. Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Y'all want to talk about the Minneapolis miracle. I went back eight years. I went back years time and recreated it on y'all. And we moving on to the NFC Championship. And hopefully we can get past whoever the winner of the Cowboys game. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, y'all. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it was, this was very intense for me when I was playing this game. Uh, <laughs> I was sweating. <laughs> I was sweating. My heart was beating so fast. Man, y'all don't understand what the motions I was going through. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Hope y'all enjoyed this video along with the rest of y'all day. But until next time, I'm out.